All right, thank you again to the to the breakout groups for really great discussions. I will say for, for those of us who sort of listened in across the board and then met over lunch to talk about what we heard, um, a lot of the things that were discussed actually had nothing to do with the specific biological question that was being discussed in the room, but were training and infrastructure and those types of needs. So I, you know, continue to 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 push on those, and the, and those are important. And I do think that 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 maybe at some point deserves broader discussion of of what the training needs are, because I think that came up in every session. All right, so now we're going to not switch gears, but, but do a follow-on. I told you for most of this, we're looking at genomics across all of life, and now we're going to switch gears to the Human Genome Research Institute. And so it is uh, my pleasure to be able to introduce Eric Green, who for those of you who don't know, is the director of the National Human Genome Research Institute, and despite his young age, was there at the advent of the Human Genome Project and has um, been involved in fostering through so many of the projects that we've talked about as being foundational resources for the community. So, Eric, thank you. <laughs> 